All right, so we're checking out the only game that has a literal death counter for all of the bad choices that you can make involving the entire planet. It's Solar Smash. In Solar Smash, you get to test the boundaries of physics in really stupid ways that you probably shouldn't be allowed to do. You can see as this patch of cloud cover moves across South America that Florida is looking particularly lovely as the entire state lights up and I'm going to be ruining this entire state's career. So there's a bunch of different things that you can use uh, in order to see exactly how the planet reacts to them. One of them looks like a freaking moon hitting the surface of the earth. There's also a slow motion option so that you can see every single person imploding upon themselves when you unleash a black hole upon them. Why? Because the people who made this game are sick like me. You have like a red, a blue, and a yellow death beam. It's like the rainbow of death. I guess we'll start at this side of the rainbow. I'm just gonna test this death beam on this one little island. One million people just died. I think I ruined the entire population of whatever was there. Is that a gigantic hole inside of the planet? That is a literal hole inside of the planet. Now part of me wants to know, can you blow a perfect spherical hole through the planet? Once you reach the core, wouldn't that destroy the entire planet? I find it interesting that we're still only at one million people. Hold on, where do I end up at when this thing comes out on the other side? Of course, it's Africa. For those of you who don't know, every time I screw around in Universe Sandbox and throw, you know, like Saturn at Earth, for some reason the impact site is always Africa. I don't know why. Slowly digging my way there. I just realized too, I think this is like the weakest thing that you can do to the planet. Starting to get a little hot at the top here. Oh shit, everyone just died in one shot. Well, apparently, when you burrow a hole completely through the planet, it turns into a sphere of magma and death. On the plus side, now I can use the planet to see the eclipse without hurting my eyes. All right, well, that was a fantastic way to kill like 7 billion people in one shot. How many people are in Florida that would die from a death laser? About 376 million. Well, I say Florida, I ended up taking out the entire Southeast portion of the United States. I'm actually very curious at how accurate these population counters are. I'm sorry, Canada, this is for testing purposes. Pretty accurate. All right, moving on from the Satan beam, we now have the meteorite of sadness that's coming right at around the time of election day. <laughs> I've already screwed with Florida pretty bad, so this time we're gonna hit Australia, but we're gonna do it in slow motion. Go my son, that is a big ass meteorite. We'll see how the land down under does. Only two million people died from that. Oh, it broke like a potato chip shape off of the earth. You can actually see the shock wave moving throughout Australia, but I think doesn't like everyone live on the coastline? So they all survived. Hold on, I'll just, you know, toss a good 10 or 12 of these. Get that sideward view, there we go. Yeah, see, 1 million people, 2 million people in the middle, 24 million people on the outer side. All right, just do a little test here with Japan. Right, so I'm good at destroying the planet and I'm bad at geography. Is there like five times as many people that live in Japan as Australia? Let me ask my hot Google girlfriend here. Hey Google, how many people live in Australia? In 2018, its population was 24,992,369. That is really specific of this game. Hey Google, how many people live in Japan? In 2018, the population of Japan was 126,529,100. Well, congratulations. I'm now playing the most accurate death simulator I've ever played. Why? <sighs> Welcome to the channel. So technically, if you just go down the row here, the next one is a freaking black hole. I feel like this would be slightly more devastating than a couple of missiles. We got three things down here in Florida. Alligators, black holes, and Bud Light. Oh, it's four missiles. It was a lie. Honestly, other than liquefying part of the United States, I feel like they really didn't do very much. Don't get me wrong, they're burning down half the country, but honestly, 165 million people dead with a single clip in this game is rookie numbers. Where's the highest concentration of people? It's somewhere over here, right? Yeah, see, 309 million. Don't mind me. Just real quick. I just want all the missiles to see if the game can handle it. It's handling it surprisingly well. Oh. Some of the missiles are going nowhere near where I click. They just kind of have a mind of their own. Oh crap, I ended up blowing up the entire world. It was only one half of it. 
Oh, I changed the temperature of the whole planet. If you notice, all of the missiles did very little surface damage. Actually, from here, it looks like the only thing that survived is like a palm tree. All right, I guess I'll try the black hole before I do the Borg sphere again. <laughs> this poor little area over here. I feel like black holes are something that we should experience in super slow motion. It's a pretty legitimate black hole. Like, I thought it was going to be a lot smaller than this. Oh, it's just kind of hanging out next to the Earth. It's not actually doing... All right, never mind. I was gonna say I didn't know if we were just going to become friends or what, but it turns out that it is sucking a huge part of the planet into its incredible gravitational bottomless pit of hell. You can watch in super slow motion as the black hole uh, slowly eats away at most of the planet but somehow the planet is still alive. Looks like an apple that got a bite taken out of it. I mean, if I do one more black hole in the same spot, will it just make a bigger hole? I have a feeling that eventually this thing is, yeah, it sure will. Yep, it got so deep that it blew up the planet. Just real quick, I wanna see if we can make an extra big hole in the planet. So... Yeah, this is pretty much what happens when a black hole hits a bullseye on the Earth. We actually only had one billion people die, but I think it was because we started the black hole in the middle of the ocean on our first click. I feel like we could do a lot better if we go right around here. Yeah, see, we're already at, uh, you know, four billion, five billion, six billion. There's only one billion people left and they're all over here. Getting kind of close to Alaska. Was anyone left over here? Oh, yep, there was. Oh, there's different planets too? I still have more death beams to choose. I feel like this just propagates the stereotype that every single alien wants nothing more than to strangle us to death. Seriously, have you ever seen a game where the aliens, you know, come down and teach us a different language? Maybe supply some different architectural plans for us to build? No, they're always blowing us up like this. Oh, this is some Independence Day style stuff right here. Okay, hold on, just real quick. I need to see if I can get one of these, you know, on every continental area here. Oh, Australia can't leave you out. Japan, up here. There we go. I think that most of them should go off roughly at the same time. You can see now that all of the aliens have surrounded the planet. I may try and just click as many times as possible with an auto clicker. Oh Christ, here we go. Mm the green penetrative beams are destroying civilization as we know it. You know what? There's one thing we're good at, it's breathing. So losing 1.3 billion people for that many strikes from some sort of extraterrestrial being doesn't seem that bad. And the plus side, I also got rid of all the hurricanes. All right, blue death beam, you look a little bit thinner than the orange death beam, but maybe the size doesn't matter. Oh. This is like some Luke Skywalker lightsaber bullshit going on here. Can you legitimately cut the planet in half with this? What happens if you cut the planet in half? Do the two halves float away? Also, how have I not killed anyone? All right, don't mind me. I just want to make a nice, perfect cut. Oh, I finally did enough damage to the planet, huh? This will take forever to cut the planet in half. Is this one slightly more powerful? Oh, Jesus. Don't worry, I haven't forgotten about the Borg Sphere. We'll do that in a second, but for right now, Orange death laser, where have you been all my life? All right, we're halfway there. Yeah, I just I just literally cut it in half. Can you put like a can you put like a black hole right in the center of it? Yeah, you sure can. Don't mind me just hollowing it out here like an egg. How many black holes can you spawn it? What? Oh, game, don't crash on me now. I feel like this would probably not happen. All right, Mr. Sphere, what is it you do? Oh. It's just chilling out. Is it like some sort of timed thing? <gasps> when you hit it with something else, they all blow up. I have an idea. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take an uninhabited area, all right? We're gonna burrow down, but not enough so that it blows up the planet. Just enough so that we can make a nice little pocket here. See, everyone's still alive. Okay, so now, right? You take these and you fill this entire pocket up. If this doesn't crash the game, I will be amazed. All right, don't do too much damage now, guys. Like I said, I don't want you to blow up the, the planet. I want to nuke every single person with one click. That is the one thing I haven't been able to do yet. I want to go from this 
to this over here with one button all in one shot. And you can fit a lot of these in here. How many uh, gajillions, megatons of uh, destructive power right now are we about to release? I'm serious, I'm gonna keep clicking on this until it fills that entire damn hole up. Oh, like I said, watch out now. Now don't, don't, don't do any additional damage. I don't want anyone to get hurt. <laughs> yet. Okay, now the balls are starting to almost like fly out. Already getting some frame rate issues. I feel like I should probably throw this on super slow motion. I can fit a lot more in here. Okay. I have legitimately filled that entire hole with these things. Super slow motion. Death beam, here we go. Oh, PC. This is why I spent all my money on you. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, oh, oh. Keeping my headphones on was a bad idea. We just crashed the game. That turned out to be a lot worse than I had previously anticipated. I still do want to see the planet blow up with these. Obviously, we managed to end all of existence, but uh, maybe if I do, you know, like a few less than that. Okay, so before it was like a thousand of these. Now we're only doing a hundred of them. Here we go. Don't crash, don't crash, don't crash, don't crash, don't crash, don't crash. Okay, the ear destroying sound of that initial blast happened very quickly uh so maybe it won't crash the game when that happened it felt like someone was taking a wire brush and shoving it in and out of my ear hole ah sh i crashed the game again okay this time we'll only do 10 of them i want this to work without the game crashing Okay, that was the first time that the game didn't immediately crash, but we only killed 1.4 billion people. That is not good. That is a lot of debris coming off the planet. <laughs> How the hell are there still 6 billion people left alive? <laughs> okay, 10 wasn't enough. Let's try 20. No slow motion on this one. Still 1.4 billion. Clearly 20 is rookie numbers. Okay, we've got 30. Let's see if 30 is the magic number for this. Okay, I missed on my first shot there, but it's it's okay. No one died from that. Shot number two. 30 is the magic number. And it blew a hole straight through the entire planet in one shot. We just killed 7.7 .7 billion people in one single button click. Okay. I saved the best for last. It's time to crash a friggin' moon into planet Earth. Obviously, this has to happen in super slow motion. Florida. You get to be the epicenter. Go, my son. Where's the moon coming from? Oh, there it is. It just takes a little bit. And there's the pitch. There's the meeting. And it is a home run. Huh. The moon just turned to dust. I feel like this calls for as many moons as I can click my button. Oh, yeah. There we go. It's like a human centipede of moons. This seems healthy. Yeah, just get nice and deep inside of there. There you go. Everyone has an opportunity to destroy the entire planet. Don't shove now. I feel like 30 moons hitting planet Earth would do a lot more damage than 5.5 billion people. Although, to be fair, this is just the immediate impact death toll. It's possible that, you know, the fact that the ecosystem of the planet is completely destroyed will kill the rest. What do these other planets do? Oh, no one lives here. That's boring. Ah, here we have Earth after Skynet takes over. That's nice. Oh, there's 13 billion people that live here. Then you have the home world of the Borg Sphere. Does your insides look any different than Earth? Place looks very metallic. Yes. The core is actually completely hollow. Hollow, you say. I love how these just like magnetically connect together in the middle. Very curious to see if this does any additional damage. Yep. Did some additional damage. How about you more impressive earth? Do you have like better nutrients inside of you? Let's look. Yeah, I'm not at all. I was hoping it'd be like a pinata, like maybe there'd be like a bunch of milk duds or something inside. That's right, I'm gonna go ahead and release, you know, like... 50 black holes in there real quick. This game probably hates me. Did we get them? This is what happens when you find like one spider inside of your computer room. You know what happens when you piss off planet Earth? They throw their friggin' moon at you. I feel like this would crack the eggshell of this planet in one shot. Oh, it did. 
Now, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of Solar Smash. Till the next time, stay foxy. And much love. <laughs> yeah, I'm coming. Oh, fuck me. So I get asked for this all the time. I have partnered up with Makeship in order to create the very first custom spleens plush. It does not come with the flower. Of course it's flower, come on guys. They did an incredible job. It, it has a bell, the bow, the eyes, the fantastic tail, her 240 degree vision, the ears. We're offering this right now, starting today, August 28th, 2020. If you want your own, you've gotta follow the link in the description. You can order it from the website. You can finally adopt your own spleens today.